Oh, good morning, everybody. So this is the CN network program. It is the implementation of a four node point to point network with links from A0 to A2, A1 to A2, A2 to A3. We need to apply TCP agent between A0 and A3 and UDP between A1 and A3. We need to apply relevant applications over TCP and UDP agents, changing the parameter, and we need to determine the number of packets sent by TCP and UDP respectively. So let us now see the program. The first instruction, as you can see, is set TNS new simulator. That is, we are setting new simulator with the class of TNS. Set TNF open. CN2 is the experiment name. Dot nam is the nam file. Dollar ns nam trace all dollar nf. It will connect the nam trace file to the global class ns. Similarly, set tf open cn2 dot tr space w will connect the trace file to the global class. Proc finish statement tells us about the procedure. And global NS, NF and TF, global NS is the global class, global NF is the global NAM file, and TF is the trace file. Dollar NS, flush trace, close dollar NF, closes the NAM file, close dollar TF, closes the trace file. Execute NAM, cn2.nam. This instruction executes the NAM file, what is written under the name of cn2 and exit 0. Coming to the next part of the program, we are declaring a set of four nodes, namely a0, a0, a1, a2, and a3. Set a0 $NS node. This will create a node called n0 in the global class NS. Similarly, we are setting A0, A1, A2 and A3 nodes for this program. We are going to establish a duplex links between the respective nodes as shown. $NS, duplex link, $A0, $A2, 100MB, 1MS, drop tail. So $NS denotes, $NS denotes the global class, the duplex link between A0 and A2, 100 MB is the rate, 1 MS is the time, and drop in. Similarly, we are establishing connection between A0 and A2, A1 and A2, A2 and A3 using duplex links. Next, we are going to establish TCP and UDP connections. Set TCP0, new agent TCP0. This instruction will set TCP0 as a new agent. $NS attach agent $A0, $TCP0 will attach the node $A0 with $TCP0. Set UDP1, new agent UDP will create a UDP agent. $NS attach agent $A1, $UDP1 will attach the node A1 with the attributes of UDP1. Similarly, set null 0 will create an agent called null $NS, attach agent $A3 and null 0. A3 is connected to null 0. Similarly, these two these instructions are executed. Next, we are going to set CBR, set CBR1, new application, traffic, and CBR. Dollar, CBR1, attach agent, dollar UDP1. CBR1 gets attached with UDP1. Dollar NS, connect TCP0, dollar sync 0. This global class will connect these attributes of TCP and sync together. Similarly, NS will connect UDP1 and null 0. $NS 
at 0.1 CBR1 start. This instruction in the global class at 0.1 will start the CBR1 application. Similarly, at 0.2, it will start the FTP application. At 0.5, the program finishes and we have $n is run instruction, which will run the program. This is the ECL program for the second experiment and you need to save it as .tcl. Similarly, we need to write a awk file for this, which is already written here. The awk file is written in usual C programming, where it goes as begin, UDP is equal to zero, TCP is equal to zero. We are initializing TCP and UDPs to zero. Next, we are initializing a if condition that states if the dollar one value is equal to R and dollar five is equal to CBR. If this is the case, then UDP is incremented. Else, if dollar one is equal to R and dollar five is equal to TCP, then TCP is incremented. The loop is closed and we have used two printf statements to ca calculate the number of packets sent by UDP and the number of packets sent by TCP. Let us now see the outputs of the same. We need to open the terminal and we need to type the instruction ns space cn2.tcl ns space cn2.tcl is the instruction to execute the .tcl file in the editor. Once we press enter, we can see the output window as follows. Let us play this. We can see the packets that are going from 1 to 3 to 2 and 0 to 2 to 3. You can even minimize the flow of this. That is the NAM file output. Now let us check out the awk file outputs. For that, you need to write an instruction called awk hyphen f space the file name dot awk space file name dot tr. Once you press enter, you can see the number of packets sent by CT TCP are 683 and the number of packets sent by UDP are 210. This is the end of the experiment too. Thank you.